Hey y'all, it's Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting coming to you with a Timu haul. And I had been patiently waiting for this and it came, um, it came on Thursday, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. And I'd been sick, so I really didn't get to do anything with it. Oh, no, I had, well, I'd been sick and I had a meeting that night at work um, and did not get home till ugh, like 10.30. So I, I think I cut it open and just dumped out the packages and that was it. And then Saturday, my husband decided we were going to take a quick trip to um, Chattanooga for the night with our kids. So I'm just now, Sunday night after church, um, getting to do a video over. I have opened the packages. I haven't cut anything apart. But um, this is my biggest die like order that I've done from anywhere or bought at or anything at a time. And I really, I spent a long time putting this order together. <laughs> so um, I put a lot of thought into it because I don't want dies that I really won't get a lot of use out of. So, let me show you what I got. Now, before I get into the dies, because that is my biggest thing, I did get a metal shim, and I'm going to try out some of my dies in a little bit, so we'll try out the metal shim too. But I've not had one of these. Uh, if you watched my videos, my all my um, plates, except I do have a base plate for my Big Shot, the rest of them are DIY ones. Um, so, I, I don't have a lot of luck with my um, with intricate dies and so I'm hoping this will help because a lot of times if I use shims it'll be just cardstock or um, I do use the plastic cutting cutting boards from Dollar Tree they work pretty good I need to I need to recut some um, because some of mine are not as wide as I need them so I need to recut them I did just replace my cutting not my cutting plates really but what I cut into because I cut onto um, the cutting mats um, I have two that I got from the Dollar Tree and my son or my husband cut them down. And so I did recently replace those. Um, others, I mean, I've just, I've cut on them and they're wore out. So, but we're going to try that out. Okay, I also got a little box of staples. These are colored staples. Um, I thought these would be good for sometimes, I think, embellishments. I, I think butterflies. Um, I tried to get like small ones. And when I compared them to what was in my staple, um, my stapler, they were actually the same size. So I was trying to get some smaller ones because you're not stapling a whole lot when you're doing embellishments and sometimes it just doesn't seem like it's holding it good. So I don't know. We'll try it. And maybe I'm just not um, like pressing it hard enough. I don't know. All right. I got these two. Um, these are the cutting blades. They're really, really little. Um, you click them. I actually thought one of them was going to be like a pick or a weeding tool. Um, but they're both cutting blades. And I went back and looked on Timu, and they are both cutting blades. Um, but it was different ones. I've not tried them yet. But I think that'll be, you know, like if you want to travel with it, that's that's the way to go right there. Um, so, I got those. And they were like less than a dollar a piece. Um, but I did buy different ones instead of buying a multi-pack. multi, multi -pack. But like I said, I thought I was buying different things. Oh, well. Um, and then, so like expensive things, the metal cutting plate was like between five and six dollars I think this was between five and six dollars this is the foam brush and pad um, for intricate dies and I thought for team you know off Timo it's it's much cheaper definitely my box is kind of squished I haven't even opened it though Ugh. but we'll try it out when we cut out some of these dies there we go and I've heard that it has like these are a different thing. So that's like a spatula. Okay. And then this one is, oh, there's a pick. There's the pick. So like, so you've got it kind of all in once um, about poking out things from your, your things. So, and if I, okay. And then here's the pad that you roll it on. And that'll take some, some unwinding, but you, you put your die cut on it and, and roll over it. Um, I'm also thinking too that I could use this like on flowers to not emboss them, but kind of like curl them. Let's see. Um, and I really I need one of those the bigger the big ball embossing pens. So this is kind of a smaller one, but ooh, well yeah that works pretty good. And it just kind of it gives it shape. So then when you stack them up, um, it might work for some things. Works on the, definitely works on the center. Definitely works on the center. Um, but I'll play with that. 
I have got out just, I don't have an embossing mat or anything, but I have got out just like fun foam and used that before. This is kind of, this is pretty squishy though, so it may not work real good. Um, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Dies. And I think I'm just going to just try them as I shop to. Um, and I went through my scraps and y'all, I, it's a good thing. I, I don't have that many scraps. Um, I've really used them up. I've been trying to, and I have. So, let me get my embossing, or my big shot over here, which it does emboss to. All right, so my sandwich right now is, I have my base plate, and I did have two of these Dollar Tree um, cutting mat shims. I'm gonna take them out, and I'm gonna replace them with this metal shim, and then I've got two of the Dollar Tree cutting mats that my somebody cut down um to just six inches for me and i've already cut you know cut on both sides and then it actually worked where i could use both mats in here and then i can just rotate them out and then i have a clear plate and grab it to go on top so just sliding that through that like that i think you know i don't want to I was worried that the metal shim might make it too thick. I do like having both of my cutting mats um, before I wasn't able to use both of my cutting mats in my sandwich, so I would have to keep them somewhere else and, and rotate them. All right, I'm not gonna cut anything apart. I'm just gonna cut the whole thing um, right now. So let's see if I've got a piece that is big enough. So this is like, could be a Christmas or a winter. It's got um, a pine cone. Oh, that don't feel tip thick enough. Got a pine cone, a bow, um, I think a holly leaf, some berries, some evergreen leaves. I'm gonna check, but oh no, that barely made a barely made a dent. So I'm gonna put my other one back in. Barely made a dent. I don't know if I'm gonna. I may not have it lined back up, but that's okay. My thought is, even if I don't like this color, I can use markers and color it. All right. So, it didn't stick to my mat. Mmm. It don't look like it cut real good. Um, no, there's even, there's places where it is not... Like I can tell, it's I mean, it's there's places it's cut through and places it's not cut through. Uh, let me see if I can line that back up. I don't know since I moved it. All right, let me add my other shim back. And I've not cut these dies, so it could be the die. All right. That one was harder. I see the pine cone has kind of shifted a little bit, which may be where I didn't light it back up. Let's see. Oh, pine cone got stuck in there. So that's a good thing. Let's see. A little picker tool. There's the bow. It's gonna be tricky getting that out. Not sure really what those two things are unless they're berries. Oh, that it kind of slid. So that's not um, those berries are not gonna cut out. Wonder. All right, let's try this thing. Oh, it did. I'm just. Let's see if it'll help get these, like get these to turn loose. No, not not looking too good for those those skinny things. And I bet, but but it could be me because I did, I did double. I see a double cut on that one too. So that could be that could be a user error. Um, a pine cone turned out. You know, I do like the pine cone. So, okay, where's my scraper thing? So, we're just gonna make a mess on my table tonight. 
that was pretty tight too. It kind of, it bent my, it bent my cutting board, but you know, I'm just going to turn it over this time. All right. So next I have, now this is two sets. Um, they are both sea themed. The first one is, it's all these little animals. Um, they're about an inch. You know, they're not very big. A lighthouse, an anchor, a, um, like a little ship and a steering wheel on a ship and all the little fish and seashells and stuff. Turtle, crab, sailboat. All right, so I got that. And then, and I really don't know that I meant to get both of these. <laughs> Um, but this one has a little bit bigger lighthouse, has some, some more fish, anchor, um, the steering wheel again, a life, life thing. And really they're not, they're not that much. So I'm just going to keep them together when I, when I store them, but let's try these. Um, let's see. All right. Fingers crossed that I have better luck with this one. I'm thinking I actually got too much in there, as much as that um, worked. That feels like a pretty good, about the right amount of uh, pressure to me. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't cut. No, I'm not. Hmm. I don't really. I'm gonna take out the metal plate. And I'm going to put my other plastic one back in. You know, I've heard such good reviews about the metal plates that it helps with intricate dies. But you see it's bowed. And I've been using these cutting plates a little bit, so I don't think it's that. Um, I had my sandwich down good before. That is tighter. I can tell that it's tighter. So I may just have to play with my sandwich with the metal plate um, and find the, the right consistency. So that still didn't cut all the way through. There's one little fish it did. Just a couple things it did. I'm gonna flip this over because the other one really kind of bent it. And I'm back to the sandwich that I had been using, so not anything new here. All right, another little fish cut out. Um, the anchor still didn't cut out. Seahorse cut out. Hmm. I don't know what's up. There is... I may have to play with my sandwich. That didn't, that didn't, that didn't. I'm really hoping it's not my dies. And that's just regular cardstock, as far as I know. Um, okay. Let's try this one. understand some of the paper I've got over here is a little bit do ooh that can cut really good I don't know unless that's different paper maybe it does kind of have some fibers in it yeah that really 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 cut through good um maybe even a little that may be a little too much pressure so that could be it because I did pull out the paper from my scraps that happens so there's everything. What's not there is stuck here or stuck on here. But I think those would be cute. This is just kind of a sand color. Um, oh, I need to get that off. Sometimes you can just drop the dies too. I do have a rubber or a silicone mat though, so you don't quite get the bounce. I don't want to drop it on the floor. I have lost dies on the floor before. Um, they bounce under things. So, 
I like that. Even all the little pieces, it seems like they seems like they came out pretty good. All right. Well, that went well. So I actually do think it was a little bit too much pressure the way it is bowing my my mats. Let's try I'll taking out one of these. And I kind of play with one or two depending on the die and um, the type paper. Let's try, let's try something that I know is just plain paper. All right, I feel like this is just plain paper. Let's try that one again. This doesn't feel, doesn't feel tight enough. Run it through twice. Um, no, and it's just kind of left the outline of it. All right, let's put the other one back in. Better. It did better. That came out. Um, the lighthouse. It looks like the lighthouse is still some places on it. The fish are coming out. That came out. All right. So that was much better. Maybe it was my paper. Like I said, it did look like it has some like fibers in it. So maybe it is a different um, type paper. Lighthouse, and we'll have to trim up just a little bit. But better. Better. Okay. All right, so let me put those up. Then I got this llama set. And normally I wouldn't buy something specific, but this was just too cute. It's little. It doesn't have a ton of pieces. Um, I'm not going to be able to, I'm going to cut it like this just to see how it cuts, but it's not going to work because there's some pieces that are like inside the llama. But we're going to cut it just to see how it works. And I'm just going to cut it on this brown. Whoops, there's two pieces. Um, let's see if I got something small. But this was just too cute. And it was, I mean, I'm sure less than two dollars, but maybe less than a dollar. You know how Team Moose constantly sending you like, oh, we've the item in your card is is cheaper or the price is reduced. Um, I think it's cut all the way through. Yeah, uh, the back the background is pulling off and everything's stuck in there. So now it's just a matter of poking it out. So that cut good, and I can still see like some of these things, the hat and things, I can I can save and actually use on a real one. But that cut good. So all right, like that, like that, like that, like that, and. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to make like a full project and I just want to want to play. So I can just cut out dies and assemble them and then I've got those ready to use whenever I go to make a card. Um, so. Okay, the next two, and there's two of them, I have a set of these little birds and a, a little birdhouse. And I've been wanting some bird dies. Um, I looked at a lot of them and I, I, mean, I just kind of went back and forth and which ones to get. Um, it's not going to cut it on my all, but we can get it, get an idea. And they'll be yellow, so I'll, I know I'll use them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut the bird house. Let's cut it out of cream. But um, I decided on this little set, and I may get another set. Um, some, I, some just had a lot of pieces, and I'm like, I, I don't want something that's got a lot of pieces. <clears throat> Even on the llama one, I'm probably not going to use all those pieces. Um, I'm probably like the eyes and things and it, it had some other pieces. I'm probably not going to use them. No, looks like it. Oh, no, it didn't. That one it cut out. That one it eh, almost cut out. That one it didn't. That one it did. And that one was off the page. So, um, hmm. Could have been user error though. Little birdhouse, I believe, is cut. Nope. No, 
Well, I have to work on it a little bit. It's not bad though. Oh, that popped out. It's not bad. Not bad. I should put these pieces back in my, I've got little uh, Dollar Tree baskets kind of holding my, holding my project. So then I can go back and put them together. Okay. Let me clear this off. Ooh. Left. That left some dots in it. Huh. Huh. Flip that over. Um, my son was really excited about this because of the trumpet. Now, I didn't break any of these apart, but one thing I noticed is this one, you actually can't break apart. It really is a solid piece because you have to, so you have to cut it all at once. I'm going to cut... I'm going to cut the trumpet in gold. I guess I'll get the guitar in gold, too. Um, but I'm just going to cut that. Out. I'm just going to use what I got here. I'm using my scraps. I'm just running back through twice. This side's on camera more, so. Looking pretty good. Whoop, there's the trumpet. So that worked out. There's that's a bow off the for the violin, I think. Um, I didn't cut the violin. There's a bow for it. And let's see the guitar. But I was really excited. I was wanting um, the music note. That was eh, that might have to be trimmed a little bit. I was wanting the music note. Um, but my son plays the trumpet, so just getting the set worked out. And then, can also use. Almost down to the bottom. Okay, so this one, I do have a house full of boys, and so I needed more boy stuff. Um, so I got some camping and some kind of outdoorsy things. And this is two sets. Um, so one set is, this was, I think this is a good set. It's got a camper, it's a layered camper. It's got a tent, um, door for the camper. I think that's an awning. And it has a, a fire. So I think this is a good set that you get a lot of different things with without having to buy a lot of different things. And, and I don't think that's, it's got some little pieces, but I don't think it's just awful. Um, there's the wheel. This is the tongue for the camper. I probably can just leave that off. I don't know that I'll even use that. So, you know, I'm, I'm not all about little bit pieces. So let's try this. Um, let's see what I've got. What film is? Yeah. And I'm just going to come back through. Like I said, this ends. You know what? I wonder if I didn't go all the way through. And that's why maybe something on this side didn't cut. Maybe I got a little excited. Hmm. Doesn't seem like. Hmm. Some of this maybe didn't cut too. There we go. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. So we got all that. I mean, they're all in there. There's the window. Punch it out. Yep. So everything cut. Think I'm actually supposed to take that out before I cut it, but oh well. All right. The other set is a backpack, a boot, a compass, a mug that says travel, and like a thermos. So let's see if I've got a, another piece of paper. I think all I've got is this pink. Oh, I really don't want a pink backpack. <laughs> Y'all, I really, I'm out of, I'm out of scraps. Oh, well, we'll use pink. What I like, there it is. All right, we'll make sure I go all the way through with the dye. And, oh yeah, it's all, it's fallen out. Here's the mug. 
I'm leaving that pokey thing out. I might, I might regret that. I was worried about the, the compass thing. Uh, it seems like it's pretty well cut, though. Like I said, I don't have a lot of luck with intricate things. Maybe, 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 maybe. I have to be careful pulling it out. Yes. Looks like the pieces that are holding it together, that may have interfered with it. That may have actually messed up my pressure. So. Because that is the only place it messed up. And look how deep those are. So that may have messed it up. Okay. But the rest of them cut good. So I'm going to take that as a win. And I think I think we can fix that once I cut them apart. Um, that's definitely going to be one I have to cut apart. Because I haven't noticed that on the others. And the pieces... Holding this one together are, I, mean, I can tell they're thicker. So, all right. And the last one is a travel one. Um, and I, well, it's actually two, um, but I've been wanting a camera and I like the suitcase. And then I'd also wanted the bicycle. This has another camera. I really wasn't big on this camera though. And it's, it's a bigger camera, but I don't, I don't know. Um, it's got, it's in two parts too, but I'm not going to take them apart yet. So you would have like an outline and then an inside. Um, it's got a suitcase. I like this suitcase better because this is kind of just outlines. I don't know how well that'll cut. It's also got a ticket. It says travel. Um, didn't even realize it at the time. This one has a, like a VW bus, it looks like. Um, airplane, train. My kids will like the train. It's also got binoculars, which would be good for the outside, outdoors one. This one <clears throat> has those big pieces in between. So I wonder if we'll run into the same problem we did on the last one. So, all right, let's go back to this one. Let's cut off the part that did earlier. I think this one will fit it right there. I have a new paper pad. Well, it's not really new. I just haven't used it much, but I'm cutting it up and it is travel themed. And I actually already had um, these things in my Timu box or Timu shopping cart. Oh, those, those got really good. Yeah. Perfect. Like nothing, nothing I had to had to peel out. But let's check the this suitcase. Remember, it was one I was worried about. I'll get the little pieces out later. Oh, it cut out good. You know, it, you know, some of it may be user error, but I also think some dies just cut better than others. Because I didn't change a thing on that one. That's what I've been doing. I'm gonna flip this over because it is starting to starting to bow a little bit. I just started using these. They do seem like they bow, but you know, I've got two of them, and so that's four sides, and I can just rotate them. Hmm. All right, I'm running out of paper again. All right, let's do let's do an experiment. This is like this was packaging out of something. Let's um let's kind of split it. I'm just playing here. See if it makes a difference on which type of cardstock. That cut pretty good. I can see some deep indentions of where it's joined together. So I really think that um, yep, and, and right here on that side where, where that is, the bicycle um, did not cut as well right where those right where those indentions are. But everything else, it looks like it cut through. All right, let's check this one. Well, the camera cut. And those cut out too. Hmm. That didn't cut as well, but let's see. Oh, but look, that was right next to one of those things. So I'll definitely, and I've never noticed that. Usually I cut mine apart anyways, um, but the difference in the way they're joined, this has got just little pieces and this has got these big, um, big chunks here. And I think that affects the cutting. 
So I'll definitely have to cut those apart. But I'll probably cut all these apart. All right, so that's my Timu haul. Like I said, this is the biggest die cut haul that I have done um, from anywhere, especially at once. So, but I'm I'm kind of getting down what I would what I would like to have in a, in dies, and I've kind of I've been organizing my dies. Like maybe another video. Um, and I did get some stuff at thrift stores and like resale stores this weekend. So that will be another video. Got a few dies there. Got a kit, but that's another video. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. See you later.